Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning back in again. It's Frank once again with another review here on Retro TV. And today is very special. It's the first of the videos where we look back at uh, some very well beloved children's series. And this one always started uh, with the introduction of a little girl called Emily who had a very unusual shop because it didn't buy or sell anything. She would find objects and she would take them back to the shop and she would wake up her best friend, Sagio Cloth Cat Bagpuss, with the following words. Bagpuss, dear Bagpuss, oh fat furry catpuss, wake up and look at this thing that I bring. Wake up, be bright, be golden and light. Oh Bagpuss, oh hear what I sing. So here is the DVD in question. Bagpuss, the complete collection. What a beautiful, beautiful cover that is. Bagpuss himself with those really bright blue piercing eyes. Now with this particular DVD release, some people can get a little bit confused because there are actually two different versions, both entitled Bagpuss, the complete collection. And they're both true, but there is a slight discrepancy. This version we're looking at today is the two disc uh, complete collection. There is also a single release disc. Now on the single version, you just get the episodes as fantastic as they all are, but you get nothing else. On this one, over two discs, you also get a special feature where the creators actually take you to the set of Bagpuss and you hear them talking about their joy of the show, how it was made, and you look at the various puppets of the characters, etc. So you don't get that on the single, uh, single release. And we'll have a look at the back of an L and I'll introduce you to some of the characters for those of you that have never seen the series. So as you can see here, this photo on the back of the box, um, here's most of the main characters in the series. Backpuss, of course, in the centre. Next to him there we have Madeline, the rag doll. Then to his left, to Bagpuss's left, we have Gabriel, the banjo playing toad. And then just below Gabriel, you can see there Professor Yaffle, the carved wooden woodpecker, who some children at school used to tease had a rather close resemblance to yours truly. Which I didn't mind because Professor Yaffle is a very intelligent character and he quite often enjoys correcting the others when they are trying to figure out what an object's purpose is and what they should be doing. So, the back cover as a whole. Now, a lot of people um, think that there were many episodes made. There were in fact only 13. Um, that was because it was so popular, like a lot of children's shows back in this time, in the 70s and early 80s, they were repeated often. So you get 13 episodes. They are Ship in a Bottle, The Owls of Athens, The Frog Princess, The Ballet Shoe, The Hamish, The Wise Men, or Wise Man, the Elephant, the Mouse Mill, the Giant, the Old Man's Beard, the Fiddle, Flying and Uncle Feedle. As to what my favourite episode would be at the whole set, it would have to be the Mouse Mill. Now, the only characters that you couldn't see in this photo back here are the mice from the marvellous mechanical mouse organ. You can just 
see the edge of the mouse organ there and within it you can see a statue of a little mouse that's where the mice quote unquote slept before Emily would wake Bagpuss up um, the main one was Charney Mouse and they would always say before they started a song connected to the story their marvellous mechanical mouse organ in a mouse voice and then you would have a big sheet roll of music that all the mice would heave into the organ and then they would start the organ up and on the little screen in the middle the song would play um, it's the narration is done by Oliver Poskate who wrote and produced the episodes and he also voiced some other famous children's series uh, like Nog in the Nog and the Clangers as well as I believe Eye of the Engine there was also um, Peter and Emily Furman they were the people that created the show and they're the ones that uh, are on that extra feature that I told you about uh, where they say where they showed you as I say the behind the scenes set which is pretty much the photo that we can see here um, so as I say they take you through the show being made and everything uh, as to why I would go with the mouse mill as my favourite episode that is just such a funny story they find um, that Emily has brought them a working mill which the mice assemble they learn how to work it with the pulleys and the levers and they find that they've got breadcrumbs and butter beans as ingredients and because the mice are somewhat cheeky they find a nearby chocolate biscuit and using those ingredients try to fool everyone into thinking that the mill produces chocolate biscuits it's hilarious it's funny it's fantastic I'll never tire of watching that episode um, it's very gentle for little children they'll be absolutely entranced by the characters um, the rating is you and the D the DVD is actually released on Universal uh, label directly to their website universalpictures.co.uk as I say if you can get this double set double disc set which I got on Amazon it's definitely definitely well worth it over the single disc although the single disc is great to have as well so that's the DVD and uh, I'll just give you a few thoughts at the end to finish off today's video Hara miss of me I forgot to open the box for you and give you a look at the discs inside as I say they are universal you've also got the guidance mark there to show they're suitable for everyone and they both discs both look identical with that lovely picture of Bagpuss on each. Okay, now we'll do a summary on this video. Now that I've remembered to show you the discs. So overall, Bagpuss, the complete collection, wonderful series. They certainly, to use the old cliche, don't make them like that anymore. There are many other classic uh, kids shows as I said on the preview video a while ago that we are going to celebrate here on the channel if you can find the double disc version that we've looked at today which I got from Amazon I would recommend that you get that um, there's virtually hardly any difference in the price between the two and as I say you do get that fascinating feature about how the show is made by the creators so it's very much worth having and it's certainly a disc that I treasure having in my collection um, just to give a quick shout out to our newest subscriber to the channel um, and I would like to say as I've said 
on the channel news video previously. I appreciate every single view, every single like, comment and subscribe that you guys give us. It means a heck of a lot. Um, our latest subscriber is one of my friends from one of my colleges, Vicky Mather. Now, Vicky unfortunately is in respite care at the minute and she's been quite poorly. And I did promise that I would give her a shout out on the video today. So, hope you're better soon. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for subscribing and indeed continue to enjoy the videos on the channel. That goes for everyone, of course, because we got lots of uh, good ones coming. The Bless This House box set that I've mentioned quite a few times, that's actually coming on Thursday. We're going to be doing the um, children's classic reviews like this one every Tuesday for the time being. And we'll do the box that's on the Thursday and on the Sunday video we're going to be doing um, any random movies or entertainment DVDs that uh, I feel is worthy reviewing next. So with that said, everyone, thank you so much for tuning back in today. I hope you've really enjoyed the video, and we'll see you with the next one on Thursday. Take care, everyone. Thank you for watching. And if you could do, click on the little watermark at the bottom of the screen, failing that. Um, with that takes you obviously to my channel page failing that if you could if you really enjoyed the video give it a like and give us a subscribe that would be greatly appreciated ok we'll see you on Thursday with the next video take care everyone